You're still watching TVC News at 7. Earlier, we told you about efforts by uh, governments in different states to ensure adherence to the easing of the lockdown directives of government to contain the further spread of uh, COVID-19 in Nigeria. Let's now get back to Peter Esele, who will be talking more on the lockdown violations by citizens and the efforts by governments in enforcing same. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at uh, 7. Uh, well, we've seen uh, different measures by government to ensure the lockdown directive is actually enforced. We've seen Lagos State Government shut a hotel and a nightclub, and in River State, we've seen the state government outrightly demolish some facilities because they contravened the state's lockdown effort. How do you react to these measures? I think, I think the government still need to continue to enforce the law and also sensitize the people more, let everybody know that coronavirus really don't have a cure. And coronavirus right now is no respecter of anyone. The easiest way is for us to stay at home. And if you must go out, you have to follow the NCDC protocol. If you ask me what happened in River State, I think that is very unfortunate. I don't think I subscribe to having a government go ahead and put down the building. I prefer what uh, the governor of Lagos is doing. If you have, a, if anybody is violating, prosecute the person or you shut down the place. But demolishing the, the hotel in River State, you've also rendered people unemployed. I, I think we need to be able to walk the fine line here. It's not the best time to be a governor, but it certainly is the best time to see the character, the content, and the quality of who is the governor. All right. Well, let's take as case study the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Mobile courts have been set up to try and uh, prosecute violators of the lockdown uh, directive. What is your assessment of the impact this has had in uh, containing the spread of coronavirus? I think one thing we can do is we can put up the mobile court. We also need to look at the way we live our life. Nigerians mostly live a communal life. And if you look at social distancing, I'll give an example. I went out earlier today. I was in my car. And some banks, you crowd outside in the bank. There was no social distancing that was being practiced. So if you want to practice that, you have citizens who live by the day. So what we also need to do is we need to enforce the law and also walk the fine line of understanding that these citizens also need to live. But we must allow them to understand that you need to be alive first before you can go to work. And the government also need to reach out to those who are underprivileged. You don't have the means to survive. If you talk about social distancing, that would be okay in areas like Victoria Island. How do you practice social distancing in a place like Ketu, Sango Tedo? That, that is a tough call. So that is why it is very important to emphasize the need for people to always wash their hands, use hand sanitizer, and wear the face mask when they leave their house. It's a very difficult time. It's not something that the governor of Lagos State en envisage, but it's something we need to walk the fine line, and I must commend the governor of Lagos State for what he's doing. Indeed, Mr. Asele. And uh, there are even great concerns that there is a likelihood a place like Lagos would get back to total lockdown if citizens do not adhere strictly to the measures. If, if the governor of Lagos State feels that is the best way to keep us safe, if that is the best way to keep us alive, I think I'll go for it. Not minding the businesses of people at that time. You see, first thing you have to look at is he's not going to shut it down totally. He's not going to shut it down totally. If we don't want him to shut down our businesses, what we need to do is let us respect the protocol that is set up by NCDC. If right. we respect the protocol set up by NCDC, there will be no need for the government to tell us that it was going to shut down. Mm -hmm. you can, if, you go, if you come out of Lagos and you walk around, you'll find out that there are areas where people just don't care. Mm -hmm. It's as if the governor, uh, whatever NCDC is saying, they, are not, they don't know what they're talking about. It's as if coronavirus doesn't exist. It well, does it exist. Indeed, as it is, Nigeria accounts for 4,399 of the over 4 million cases, confirmed cases of COVID-19 across the world. Peter Isele, public affairs analyst, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7.